Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris and on today's video we're talking about a fragrance from the house of Perfume. So if you have not seen my uh, original video of Perfume Had, they actually sent me a sample kit which is called the Icons set and it's pretty cute. It comes with nine different fragrances from the range and the one we're talking about today is, is I think it's pronounced Zana Oud or Zanab Oud. It's a Oud fragrance. I believe it's their only Oud fragrance in this range. And because I found it to be very fascinating the way that they approached Oud. It's a very modern way of approaching Oud and I was just very excited. I was like, let's talk about this one. Let's test it out and let's smell it to see what this fragrance is like. So if you are curious about their Icons set, it's pretty cute. This is what it looks like. It does have all of the information as to what fragrances are included in it. It does have their cute little logo here. When you open it up, it's not complete anymore because I have been wearing some of these, but there is a letter from the founder, which is welcoming you to the world of Perfume Head. It says, welcome to the Osmanthus, where scents have a story and every story has a scent. Very true. But the fragrance that we are talking about here today is this one here. It's what the little box looks like focus there we go it is zanab oud and it is an extra de parfum so or an oud this is going to be pretty potent and i just have to say that because typically even eau de i don't know if there's eau de toilets that have oud in it maybe there is but typically ouds come in eau de parfum concentration you can get them in the form of oils directly from the middle east by if you can get that by the way i do recommend doing that I used to have a friend that worked with me at Chanel and she was from Egypt. She would go to Egypt, I believe, twice a year and she would stay there for quite some time and, and she would always bring back these beautiful oils that were just uh, delicious. They were pure oils of oud and they're hard to find here. I mean, typically, if you even find them here, they've been watered down or they, or they have been tampered with, unfortunately. But this fragrance I really wanted to talk about because we're so used to smelling oud in the way that western companies have presented it and this is a western company obviously they're from la and they're going to have the outlook of an american corporation or an american company or an american perfume house but they kind of played with the sense of california too and that's what really intrigued me to this fragrance because I have traveled to California a few times uh, and one of the times or a couple of the times I have gone to the desert of California if you have ever gone to the desert of California, it is a very unique experience. It's a very unique type of vibe that you get there. It's kind of calming, very soothing, but it's very earthy at the same time. And this fragrance really embodies that. And it, it really embodies Joshua Tree for me. This one and the fragrance called Room Number, but in particular, this one itself, because it has that dryness that is in this fragrance as well as the desert and it's just very soothing at the same time there's like a dryness but it kind of smells like wetness maybe that has to do with me being in the desert while it rained i mean never does it rain in the desert and of course i think every single time i've gone to the desert there have been like huge thunderstorms <laughs> of course my luck but this fragrance is amazing so let's get into the notes to see what this fragrance this has. fragrance does retail for 425 450 mils but it is an extra de parfum so just keep that into consideration the oil concentration for this fragrance directly is 30 percent that's a lot that's a lot of oils especially when you're talking about things like oud being put into a fragrance that's very expensive so typically i'm very much about prices you know not matching up to the quality in this case i do think that the price does match the quality because we're getting a lot of oil and there's very expensive notes in here so at the top we're going to get italian bergamot osmanthus osmanthus is typically very expensive so it's turkish rose that's another note in here and we also get indian jasmine another pretty pricey note in here as well cardamom oud pimento balsam patchouli labdanum vanilla bean and italian suede so this fragrance starts off very raw it smells like dry earth it smells like the middle of the california desert but then you start to get nuances 
you kind of get this lumbery vibe, like fresh cut lumber, lumber that has just been cut that was left outside and that the sun is now drying off from the rain that just happened. That's kind of the smell you get there. So very interesting quality to this fragrance. But then you start to get the harsher things. You start to get the suede in there. But the suede's very nice because it's not going to be as harsh as leather. And then you're also going to get that very, very, very nice oud. And the oud is kind of romantic, but modern. It's not going to be a Middle Eastern oud. It's just going to be an oud. It's a woody element in this fragrance. And although, yes, it's the star of the show in this fragrance, it does play very nicely with each and every note in this fragrance. And that's a very unique trait for this fragrance. As the fragrance starts to progress, you start to get that Turkish rose in here. It's a very nice Turkish rose. It's not dusty. It's not smoky. It's delicate. It's nature. And it's delicate in this fragrance as well. And it really, you know, comes through. But most importantly, you start to get that osmanthus mixing with that jasmine. And that jasmine in this fragrance is just divine. I just have to say it. It's very, very, very nice. I really do like the jasmine in this fragrance. It adds romance to this fragrance. And the fragrance is typically, like I said, more serious, more chill. This fragrance comes alive on the skin. It comes alive on paper too. But the unusual thing about this fragrance is that it's not one, let's say you went into the department store and you are bombarded by like a million different fragrances because there's so many different fragrance brands out there now. And you typically do this. You spray the card. Ugh, that stinks. Throw it. Ugh, that smells good. Throw it in your bag. And you usually get to the car by the end of your shopping trip. If you have put them in your purse or if you put them in your pocket, they usually mix all up together, but you can still get that waft of what the original scent was. That is when you can tell what the fragrance is really going to smell like, you know, as time progresses. And that is what you need to do with this fragrance. Although I would recommend to spray it on your arm because those harsh elements that open up this fragrance start to dry down. They start to play with the nice, more delicate elements in this fragrance. And overall, this fragrance is just really well thought out. And it's very California. It's very, you know, going out into the desert, like I said, and having your one of those like rich people retreats where they go into the you know, middle of the desert to do these mindfulness retreats, which nothing wrong with it. I mean, if I could do one, I would. But that's the vibe it's giving you. Very quiet, very soft, very delicate, very relaxed, very grounded into the earth. And that's what makes this fragrance just a really good oud. And I think in a world where ouds are just rose mixed with oud and some sandalwood, teak wood or cedar wood, this fragrance adds a add something to your collection you know you're not going to go out there and say there's another oud fragrance that smells just like this this one's unique enough that if you get it tomorrow and you are an oud fan you are going to like it because it's adding something into your wardrobe of fragrance and it's it's a powerhouse i just have to say that this fragrance will last you quite some times even though it's a 50 ml it's a smaller size bottle the smaller size bottle will not be one that you're going to go through within six months because it's very potent. I have to say, I have tested this quite some time now. That is how much I've used out of this little sample. That is saying a lot. You can even tell how dense the liquid is in here. It's not a light one. I think that the quality is really there and the price makes sense. Do I wish it was cheaper? Yes. Now, they did let me know that they are coming out or they're potentially working on 30 mil sizes, which is going to be one fluid ounce in the U.S. If that is the case, that would be a really good, you know, route to go down because then people can actually try out their fragrances without breaking the bank. I think that a lot more people would get to enjoy the world of perfume red. So let me know down in the comments what your thoughts on this fragrance are. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Have you tried it? Have you not tried it? By the way, this does fall more masculine and yeah, and then it starts to get a little bit more ambery, more floral at the end. And I think that at that point, you know, it can work for men and women. But when it first opens up, you're going to get a very masculine sense. So don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more fragrance-related content. I hope to see you on the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.